not allowed to free. This is where we keep all of our costumes from every shift. From vests to shoes, jackets to skirts. We have them all. But sometimes you can run out of room when you have so many costumes. And we have four rooms. Come check them out. Every time it rains and rains and rains. When you look at investing in an organization, there's a few different things that you look at. Number one, you will look at the fruit of the organization. So Scott Rostov uh, referenced a few moments ago that in the early stages, there really wasn't much fruit of the organization. So of course, the Stella Foundation, I think Scott probably did it in a very kind way, uh, so he says in his own mind, but um, uh, they said no, because there wasn't very much fruit. Tonight, you have had the opportunity to see just a, a snippet of the fruit of CYT. Hi, my name is Eric Troll. I serve as a member of the board uh, of CYT. Uh, in 1987, my wife and I moved to Lafayette to re-pioneer a campus ministry out at the University of Southwestern Louisiana. Uh, when we got to town, we were starting with three students out of USL, and one of those students was a guy named Gerald Broussard. Now, the thing is, let me tell you, there was a Saturday we pulled up in my U-Haul, all my worldly possessions, and uh, it took Gerald and I about 15 minutes to get all of that out of there. But this boy gave up his morning, helped us, set us up, and then as we started looking at our organization, it was like, hey, we don't have anybody that can lead our, our, our ministry in worship. So Gerald said, well, I'll learn how to play guitar. And he did. Uh, there were three really good songs he could do. <laughs> And there was one we really liked a lot. So, <laughs> But you look at the fruit of our organization, you look at the leadership of the organization. As Scott mentioned earlier, Gerald and Patty, uh, nine years plus ago, uh, saw and heard about CYT. And truthfully, he really began the quest because of his own children which quite honestly is very noble uh, and, a, and a wonderful thing. So he did this and they ventured out, they got the thing started, and then of course began this love affair with CYT. This began an opportunity for the Broussards, both Gerald and Patty, not just concerned about their children, but concerned about a lot of other people's children. They started investing their own time, their own energy, their own resources and what this organization is all about. Now, I say this from this angle. This organization, at any point, when Gerald felt like they were finished with their children, they could walk away, he can go back and just focus his 100% energy on his own company, their own lives. But something got a hold of them, and they're concerned now about other people's children. Tonight, we have the opportunity to look at the future of CYT. The thing is, what you saw in that last video is really one of the things, one of the greatest needs we have right now is a place to call home. This is where it suddenly becomes real for this organization. We are now looking at an incredible opportunity and we're looking and hoping and believing to begin building very soon a new state-of-the-art facility 
here in Lafayette, Louisiana. Geraldine Patty, 
they're at a point now, they are doing this for the love of other people's children. Quite honestly, that's what it's going to take. It's going to take everyone in this room for the sake and for the love of other people's children. You know, your kids may be gone, they may be grown up. You've got to think about them grandchildren. You've got to be thinking about those who are coming up. And, and quite honestly, just as Kylie had mentioned that, you know, man, we've got to be able to reach other aspects of Lafayette and make this accessible to every young man and every young lady in Lafayette. We have to open up the arts and we have to open up the Christian arts to everyone in this community. I would ask you to prayerfully take this card and if you wouldn't mind, go ahead and begin to fill this out. If you feel compelled to give a one-time generous offering this evening, we would be more than joyous to receive that. At the same time, if you want to set up a monthly recurring, you can do that uh, on this card and at the end of our evening we'll pick up these cards from you. God bless. Now enter a question. <laughs> Great. Because we're thinking about the future and we're thinking about where we're going, because it's been a piecemeal operation, and if we're able to pull off what we've been able to do piecemeal, think about what we're going to do. They pay rent on the facility that keeps getting flooded. And uh, <laughs> if you notice, all those costumes, they, they, they've got to be stored somewhere. And so you're talking about all the different costumes, all the different stuff. And quite honestly, a lot of times what happens is a lot of the work gets duplicated because of damage or because it gets lost because everything is hidden or, or kept in, in many different locations. That's a very good question. Did everybody hear a question? No. So the, the bottom line question was, uh, if you've been able to do what you've been doing with what you've got, why do you need what you want. <laughs> Who's on first? Okay. And, and basically you heard my answer. But did that sound fun? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. As a matter of fact, right, correct. We, we use uh, and have used and, and been, man, blessed by so many different churches here in town. Uh, the Bayou allows uh, for, for classes there, family life. Correct, correct, correct. So, so a lot of that, the resources that are going out different places will um, be brought into this building and will allow the, the ministry to grow uh, and go bigger. And this building's going to be used on a regular basis because there's a lot more that hasn't even been, been explained here that goes on with CYT on a regular basis. Very good question. Any other questions? Yes, sir. Where is it? Uh, where is it? Uh, it is Barrett School Road. Uh, what's the name of it again? Price Crossing. Price Crossing. That make sense? We bought the property. We're buying the property. And yes, that's a part of this. As of tonight, we can all go out there, cut grass, and hang out. No, no, no. Okay, that's a very good question. Uh, this is not a theater. Uh, we're not building a theater. Those are really expensive. Um, uh, those are super expensive. But, but... You know, quite honestly, that needs to be something for the future because when you start looking at theater facilities here in Lafayette, it's quite difficult to find a decent-sized theater for the shows that we do. But this is strictly uh, offices, uh, rehearsal, class space, shop, and um, costume. Costume. Don't forget the costume people. God bless the costume people. Good. Any other questions? Everybody look at somebody, go ahead and fill out this card, get your mom and out, let's do this, and, and let's, let's build the building. All right. My name is Lady Sonia, I'm 11 years old, and I've been in CYT for about five years. My name is Zoe Gidry, I'm 15 years old, and I've been in CYT for three years. I'm Olivia Wu, I'm nine years old, and I've been in CYT for one year. My name is Sophia Brasso, I am 17 years old, and I am a senior. I'm Caroline Prince, I'm 18 years old, and I'm a senior. And I'm Dawson Broussard, I'm 17, and I'm a senior. and accepting me for 
humble I am. COT has changed my life in like such a crazy way because COT really helped me like grow all my talents and really meet so many awesome people and definitely not don't have any stage fright anymore. <laughs> when I first started COT, I didn't really know where I fit into, but I was kind of uh, I always wanted to perform and to make other people happy and I really love singing and performing and acting and COT gave me this wonderful place where I could be that person. And even better yet, I could be with other people who like to bring joy to other people in the same ways that I did. COT has shown me that a small group of people can just change your life forever. Mm, COT has pretty much completely changed my life in like more ways than I could probably like, count or think of. Um, better than anything I could have ever like imagine or hope you're dreaming for it. Like from starting CYT to now, it's just, I can't, I can't even like comprehend. It's been such a blessing. We always talk about God and how to live closer to Him. So that's something that I learned from every rehearsal and also just through everyday life. Like I could learn from the experiences I have at CYT and put them in my everyday life. Because we start out with devotion and worship, and you just really feel God at every moment in the CYT process. Whether it's just in rehearsals, whether you're in the middle of a dance, or whether it's in show week, you just feel Him always, and you see Him in all the people around you. CYT is one of the greatest things in my life that I've ever done, and it's really helped me look closer to God. Well, praise and worship, because it's just one way before everything, just to know that God is with you every step of the way. When you go in every day, it begins with that devotion. And it begins with people who are ready to openly talk about the ways that God can work in your everyday life. It made me realize that what I'm doing, singing and acting and dancing and all that fun stuff, uh, isn't just that extracurricular activity. It's but gifts from God that He is using to bring you closer to Him. When I first joined CYT, um, I wasn't really close to God. Uh, I came to CYT and I didn't know like any of the worship songs or anything. I felt like super out of it. But after like all these rehearsals, like suddenly like I'm listening to them in my car and pray regularly and. I just did a devotion, something I would have never done before CYT, and it's just crazy to think how much I've grown closer to Christ. CYT has taught me how to accept me for myself, and myself is just good enough, and if other people don't accept me, then that's them, and like the sky's going this isn't just a theater program, it's truly a family. And it's like something that you can't find anywhere else. And CYT has really just taught me to love, to just be happy for everyone, no matter what. All of the directors within CYT, they don't treat you as though you were less than. But all of the higher ups within CYT have basically just demonstrated this. And that's kind of loving way of teaching learning and showing. They're never there to put you down. They're always there to build you up and to prepare you to be a better performer and to be a better follower of God. Um, Callie, uh, gosh, um, convinced me to join CRT. Her scary eyes were a lot scarier than getting laughed out of an audition because that's what I thought was going to happen. It's just insane um, how much like that changed me. And like, it was just like a simple conversation, like casually, but like, if that didn't happen, like I don't really know where I'd be today. I could, I could literally go on for hours. Um, I am almost like being like blind with the amount of things uh, in my head of things I could say, but um, thank you to every single staff member, part of the director, or any like adult or parent that has ever been like my life proximity. You've truly changed my life forever.
Esmeralda. Esmeralda, wake up! Esmeralda!
You don't take too much advantage. You've seen tons of examples. We thank you guys for being with us. A lot of folks who have touched so many of these kids' lives, as you know, particularly as Sophia's going through this. I remember one time, you know, she'll be Wendy and Peter Pan of a cast of 90. When they did Peter Pan the first time, Sophia was Wendy's understudy. She didn't get the role. Like, you know, Sophia's, and, and Sophia's devastated. Now I'm going, Sophia, you're 13. I said, you made it to the understudy. No, oh, you're supposed to say that. <laughs> Five days later, Callie meets with her because she sees that Sophia is bummed out. And she tells them about the same thing. Sophia, you're only 13, you're amazing, you're going to be great. And Sophia comes back. And I said, well, I told you that. But Dad, Callie told you. <laughs> so, you know, Callie and Whitney and Gerald and Patty and Carol Mills and Christy Perry and Maria and Heather, Angie and Brian, I mean, all these CYT folks that have just touched all of these lives. Um, they're going to keep doing it. You need your help to keep doing it. Please consider the Standing O Society. Please consider helping CYT to that next level with that beautiful building. You know, just please consider spreading the word and coming to a show. You are all part of the CYT family as of right now, if you weren't before. We thank you guys for being with us. Drive safe. And uh, we'll see you, Peter Van, coming right up. You guys can see you later.